Rendering Browsing Interface Unsealing Pedestal Activated Slab of Reminiscence Activated The third stage of the Orpheus Final Plan, the Eternal Recurrence Plan. Far from demise, yet farther still from creation. One has but to face the spiral of all, false, as it is true, by which the world revolves, to find a facade sincere as it is hollow. If one is to move forward, one must look back. Yet the choice must be done so with peril, for the answers one may not stand to bear. Come on out! I know you're there. To think it's been ten years since you were here last. Not since I bestowed upon you and Lenhart your swords. I would applaud finding your way here without Campanella's guidance. But it may have been a simple task, now that half of your memories have returned. Sure was. Hell, I think I even got enough to figure out who you really are now. Of course, if I knew for sure, I'd probably have to kiss this form goodbye. <laughs> it figures. No use pretending what happens in this world's got nothing to do with me anymore, I guess. I'm afraid not. We will need you to fulfill your role as number one for a while yet. It is not number zero, nor any anguish, but you, and only you, who can act as our guiding bonfire. Works for me. I've gotten kind of attached to this place, so I don't mind sticking around. So, you got your eye on a new Seventh Anguist to replace Steel? You will meet when the time is right. Though only they may ultimately decide if they are willing to carry such a heavy burden. Really now? If I could have a moment... Well, well, if it isn't the guy who didn't think to ask before screwing around with someone's body. I would never! <laughs> How did he find out? Uh, you must forgive me for speaking up like this, Grandmaster. If I may, it concerns a most urgent report. And a question I have for you, McBurn. Oh, yeah? A simulation I had been reviewing of Elysium's deletion was forcibly terminated. 
I can only assume it was the work of an unknown party with zero relation to the society, foundation, or church. You wouldn't happen to have an idea of who they would be, would you? Why would I? Wait... Maybe I do. It could be that new group the Oathbreaker was talking about. <gasps> the one operating out of Orid? Pardon me for dropping in like this. What?! Huh. Don't think you were on the guest list. What is Calvert's new president doing here? How? Did they get you in here? I saw that logo. I have no direct connection with them, to be clear. I just had a source put me in touch with them through the CID. Their services didn't come cheap, but there's no easier way to get what you want than throwing a little mirror around. Now is there? Oh. <laughs> Funny guy. It's a great pleasure to meet you, Grand Master. And if you don't mind me saying so, I almost get the feeling you were expecting my arrival. I was. I have reason to believe you will be the greatest obstacle to our next endeavor. Nevertheless, welcome. And congratulations on your recent inauguration. Why, thank you. Now, I'll make this brief. I come here with a proposal. For the next three, no, two and a half years. I will not interfere in your next undertaking so long as you do not interfere in mine. Do we have a deal? You! <laughs> oh, wow. I see. For all your many differences, few share your and the late Chancellor's gift for imposing negotiations. Very well, Mr. President. We shall not interfere in your scheme to test this world's potential for two and a half years. In return, you will do the same for our eternal recurrence plan. Excellent. I'm pleased we could come to a swift agreement. All other matters can be dealt with as they come, so long as you do not fall afoul of the Calvardian Constitution. <laughs>